Welcome to Figure Talk Tuesdays. I'm your host, Godzilla Fan Freaks. And today we are going to be taking a look at an SH Monster Arts figure. And we're going to be taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla 1993. My favorite Mecha Godzilla. So yes, this is the SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla 1993. This is the original release. But there's actually some other things I want to talk about with this figure. It has been reissued like two or three times, I think now. Both in kind of like different type of paint scheme styles. In all honesty, I like the original kind of dull silverish uh, paint finish. That is just my opinion. The Garuda for this guy that I have attached on him is actually from the second reissue of this figure which was more chromey and whatnot. Where did I get this figure? I got this off of Amazon when, of course, SH Monster Arts was brand new and they had, uh, you know, the three new SH Monster Arts figures from the Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and I think third was... Was third the Space Godzilla? I don't remember. But uh, I remember picking up this guy off of Amazon for about 60 bucks, believe it or not. Thoughts and opinions? Uh, one of SH Monster Art's better figures, again, it's one of their more early figures. Uh, it does help that it came with the Mega Buster effect part with like a little mountain base. The die cast parts in this figure are, you know, very well welcomed. It does give the figure a little bit of weight and heft. And it's just a great, solid Mechagodzilla figure for the 90, you know, for the 93 Mecha Godzilla, all in all, you cannot go wrong with this one. What's a good price? Well, for the original one here, you're probably looking some crazy prices. I mean, even the ones that are reissued, just because they come with uh, the eff different effect parts and stuff like that. Like the only thing that I am missing from this Mecha Godzilla are the uh, the shock anchors to come out of his forearms that's like the only bonus that i'm missing because i could never get my hands on it because of how crazy expensive they were i ended up biting the bullet at phoenix comic-con one year when i went and i got the chrome version that came with the garuda and i bought that just because i wanted the garuda i gave the rest of the uh, the figure away at my very first tucson kaiju festival back in 2019 um, just because I didn't care about anything else but the Garuda, sadly. Um, so, yeah. But a good price on this guy, I'd say, you know, with the beam effect part and everything like that, try to keep it at least 100 bucks. You know, I wouldn't go over, you know, that. SH Monster Arts are not worth the crazy scalping prices for sure. How does it compare? Uh, it compares, you know, it sizes in well with anything 6 inch, you know, so it, it actually looks good with Bandai figures and whatnot. And of course, other SH Monster Arts figures it's going to compare well with. And then do I recommend, if you are a fan of the original Mechagodzilla, you know, it, again, it really just depends on where your budget is. Can you get this original release? Maybe it's cheaper to get one of the reissues. But for me, I do recommend this one just because I like the paint on it the most out of all the other ones that have been done. It is a great, great figure and I am happy to own it and have the Garuda at least. Great, great SH Monster Arts figure. Mega Buster Fire!